The Shambles Market at Stroud gradually comes to life, as it has done every Friday and Saturday since the late 16th century. Weaving mills supplying the quartermaster's stores. Mill clock set forever at five past three. Workhouse, prison beyond the law. Elizabethan town all in the shambles. Subscription rooms to welcome Queen Victoria. Gothic school of art on Lansdowne. Spirited place so important. Stroud water canal a space for dreamers. GWR platform of passing for travellers. This busy market town, located in the very heart of the Cotswolds, has a wealth of highly individual shops, galleries and cafes, which together with the 16th century Old Town Hall and St Lawrence's Church, form a vibrant backdrop to the outdoor and indoor markets with an array of exciting, colourful stalls reflecting the town's strong, artistic and coming tradition. Thank you. 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 Thank the Shambles Indoor Market, located in the St. Lawrence Church Hall, has been established for over 40 years and provides a vibrant location where each week an ever-changing mix of traders offer their wares to both local buyers and visitors alike. Le Rouge Baiser, a great example of the work of René Gru, one of the great illustrators from the 1940s. This one, together with several of the same series, is actually, well, in my opinion, a wonderful example of, of his work and of the period. Another one from the same period, a little bit later, 50s. This is the work of David Wright, who did a lot of illustrations for magazines such as Sketch, um, mainly done during the wartime as um, morale boosters for the horses. But this is one of his later ones, obviously advertising Case of Bondor. They are also available on Have you got a preference in colour? Whatever colour you want. So you did that as <laughs> well. The indoor market is an eclectic mix and Aladdin's cave with bargains both old and new. <laughs> Many storeholders have their own handmade goods on offer and, in fact, some even bring their sewing machines to carry on production throughout the day. Well, all those books in the centre are there. There are uh, new books that have been published recently, either by the local History Society or Amblin Publishing. And a lot of them use old postcards, uh, such as this one. This is of Nelson Street, uh, where our shop is. Uh, this was before the co-op building that we're in at the moment was built. So you can see there the, uh, the difference in what it was and what it is today. 
We're in the shambles at the moment, and this one is of Church Street at the back of the shambles, and this one shows all the old almshouses along the side of the road there opposite the church before they were all knocked down uh, to make way for the car park. And then these two are the actual shambles themselves. This one shows the farmer, the fireman's ladders up against the uh, old town hall. That shows that, that this was when the old town hall was used as the fire station. And then this one is a colour one, but notice the difference in the tree height. This one's a lot lower, uh, coming up just above the, just below the roof. And then this one is going up above the roof now. And now, of course, the tree at the end there actually dominates the whole of the, the shambles. The hustle and bustle around the shambles leads on to the traffic-free high street with its independent art galleries, bookshops, vintage fashion, health food and gift shops with a cafe on every corner, somewhere just to sit and watch the world go by. People watching is an art in itself in laid-back Stroud. Time to relax. The cool shade of the ancient yew trees in the churchyard offers a most welcome retreat, whilst the grassy slopes of bank gardens make an ideal picnic spot for the family. Nearby beauty spots, Rodborough Common and the Five Valleys. Nosworth Valley and the Ruskin Mill. Painswick Valley and wonderful topiary. Slad Valley with Laurel Lee Associations, the Golden Valley and the Donkeys, Ryford Valley with the Canal. So, wherever you are travelling from, however long your journey, however you choose to travel, whether by land, sea or air, come snow, rain or shine, Regardless of which way you plan to arrive, please come and see us at the Shambles Market. We are open from 8 till 4 every Friday and Saturday, just as we have opened every Friday and Saturday for the last 500 years.